all shining with lovely new paint. He was careful not to bump them, and they followed him smoothly into the station, singing happily, we're going away, we're going away. I wish I was going with you, said James. I should love to pull the express and go flying along the line. Gordon, with much noise and blowing of steam, got ready to back onto the train. The fat controller was on the train with other important people, and as soon as they heard the guard's whistle, Gordon started. Look at me now, look at me now, he puffed, and the coaches glided after him. Poop, 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 poop. Goodbye, little James, see you tomorrow. James watched the train disappear and then went back to work. He pushed some trucks into their proper sidings and went to fetch the coaches for another train. James had just brought the coaches to the platform when he heard a mournful noise. There was Gordon trying to sidle into the station without being noticed. Hello, Gordon. Is it tomorrow? asked James. Gordon didn't answer. He just let off steam feebly. Did you lose your way, Gordon? said James. No, it was lost for me. I was switched off the main line onto the loop. I had to go all round and back again. Perhaps it was instinct, said James. Meanwhile, all the passengers hurried to the booking office. We want our money back, they shouted. But the fat controller climbed on a trolley and blew the guard's whistle so loudly that they all stopped to look at him. Then he promised them a new train at once. Gordon can't do it, he said. Will you pull it for us, James? Yes, sir, I'll try. So James was coupled on and everyone got in. Do your best, James, said the fat controller. Come along, come along, puffed James. You're pulling as well, you're pulling as well, sang the coaches. 